The Tigers run into big trouble in the Big Easy. Grambling finally got some momentum. A much needed glimmer of hope as they prep for another in-state showdown. Don't click that mouse cause we got these stories and a whole lot more. Keep it locked, GFN starts now. Ground fam, I am Damian Ronalds, and welcome to another season of GFN. 132,991. That's a pretty big number. That's how many people tuned in to GFN during the 2016 season. And here's another number for you. 57,864. That's how many tuned in during the offseason. And there's no way that we could have done it without you. So thank you. Keep tuning in. Keep spreading the word and keep sharing GFN on social media. Now, on to Tulane. Over the past 15 years, they've only had two winning seasons. And against SWAC opponents, they've done pretty well. And in those games, they've averaged a 30-point victory margin. With Gramley riding high off of an HBCU National Championship, Tulane was still a very high favorite. Which brings us to the GFN Game Day Performance. Grambling hit New Orleans early this season to battle Tulane on their home turf. First quarter, Grambling's first possession of the game. Penalties had the Tigers backed up. Third and 19, Kincaid looking for a receiver. Pocket collapses, he escapes the heat, but ends up well short of the first down. Tulane with good field position, moves past midfield. Then Jonathan Banks to Terran Nankalai. 30 yards for the first score of the game. He's in. Touchdown to Lane. Grambling trying to answer, but penalties again got in their way. Third and 14, Kincaid drops back, in trouble again, and tries to connect with Daryl Clark. Tigers punt again. A few plays later, Tulane knocking on the door. Jay Banks taking it to the bank on the quarterback keeper from seven yards out. Tulane went on to score a field goal and another touchdown in the second quarter. For Grambling to be successful, they needed to jump on Tulane early in the first half and force them to play catch up in the second. And they didn't, and Tulane wasn't trying to hear it. They shut Grambling out in the first half and Grambling kept shooting themselves in the foot with penalties. Third quarter. After an earlier two-lane score, Grambling finally gets something going. Kincaid hits Lindemann Brooks with a 26-yard pass. Then, after a field goal penalty, Kincaid to Devontae Davis, breaking tackles for the first. And breaking tackles, still down to the five-yard line. Then, Martez Carter on the handoff. It'll be Carter, bending the boundary, he's in. Touchdown, Grambling. Grambling finally gets on the board fourth quarter. First play of the quarter, Ankalad takes it 73 yards to answer. He's got room down the sideline now. Can they catch him? No. He will go the distance. Darren Ankalad, first play. On Grambling's next possession, Carter, not to be outdone. Carter's Carter. He's down the middle. And what a run by Carter. Right when we get going talking about something we want to talk about. Tulane scored again later in the quarter. At Yulman Stadium, the Tigers fall 43-14. to The biggest surprise was Grambling's lack of offense, and their penalties didn't help either. The Tigers were held to only 225 yards of total offense, something that must be fixed as they prepare for a much improved Northwestern team. Now, let's take a look at the GFN Look Forward. Next up, Grambling comes home to face the demons of Northwestern. This game will air on ESPN. They had Louisiana Tech tied until they lost their quarterback. And they still managed to put up 400 yards of offense on the Bulldogs. And before we go, I just wanted to show some love and support to the people affected by Harvey. Houston, Beaumont, Port Arthur, and Lake Charles, even my hometown of Silsby, Texas. We love you, we're praying for you, and we're pulling for you to come back stronger than ever. 
like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember to tell a friend about GFN. I'm Damian Reynolds. Thanks for watching.